know. It's a flaming rabbit, a tadpole. I don't know what the hell this is. And a grass monkey? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily have a problem with it. So, um, today's video was brought to you guys by my, uh, a few of my sponsors. Yes, I, I plug my sponsors in every single video. Um, I would like to thank Dimension, Tithe, my boy Kendrick Lee, who is actually in the chat right now. Say what's up, Kendrick. Um, and my boy Elias1997. If you guys would like to become a sponsor and get a shout out at the beginning and the end of all my videos, just scroll down to the, you know, the description or on your way down to the comment section so that way you can tell me how much of an asshole I am. Uh, make sure to click the join button so that way you can sponsor the next video and I can give you guys a shout out. It greatly, greatly supports my channel and I just, I can't be grateful enough. So, ooh, oh no. I can't even play that sound effect. Oh, hell no. Nintendo will have my ass. We're gonna click around like this and, oh, this looks nice. Okay, and then we're gonna move on. Oh, this also looks nice and we're gonna move on. This looks great. Now we're gonna move on. Move on, move on, move on. Oh, look at the precious Pokemon. These, these are great. Okay, black screen, cool. All right, now check this out. One thing that is great and I was talking about this on Twitter. One thing that is great about this new Pokemon is it is a new actual Pokemon game. It is a new generation for, like, Gen 8 for newcomers. Like, newcomers and obviously, you know, old heads or whatever. But the problem that I had stated on Twitter was the fact that I really wish a 3DS version were coming out. Like, it's a whole different game. So, a lot of you guys may or may not know, but back in the day when we could play the Nintendo 64, right? And actually, I'm gonna bring this up on my Twitter. Back in my day, when we had the Nintendo 64, right? On the back of the controller was a cartridge slot. So what you could do was you could buy this expansion that came with a copy of Pokemon Stadium, okay? So what this did was while you were playing Pokemon Stadium, you could actually capture Pokemon in the game, right? And you could take your red version, your blue version, your yellow version, and at, at the time, those were the only ones that had come out, but then there was also gold and silver that came out later. And you could take your Game Boy Color game, put it inside, and battle your Pokemon on Pokemon Stadium. Like, this this is such a huge thing. Although, I will say, after further debates on, on Twitter today, um, apparently I'm wrong for thinking that this is innovative. I'm apparently wrong for thinking that having a console game and a handheld game interact with each other, apparently I'm wrong for that. I didn't realize that my opinion on something, on a factual thing that has existed, could be wrong. I didn't, I didn't know I didn't know I could be wrong about a fact. Who knew? Who fucking knew, right? Now, I also recall very vaguely in Pokemon uh, DX or XD or whatever the fuck it is, the Dark Lugia one in Pokemon Stadium 2, you could also do the sim a similar thing. You could put a link cable in your shit and plug it into your console, or you could put, uh, there was like an adapter or something for it. And you could actually battle, trade, and give your account Pokemon from this other game. Now, the reason why this is so important, the reason why I'm so bugged out about it is because, you know what, let me, let me go in my handy dandy drawer right here. I got my Vita here, right? Okay, so this is, this is good. This is all for a reason, boys. Trust me on this, okay? I'm going somewhere with this bit. And I also, way down here, I don't have the giant 3DS. I got this 3DS as a gift um, from my buddy Noah, who actually works with Nintendo. Um, he actually works directly for Nintendo. He's the guy who goes to like GameStops and stuff. But I think he got a promotion or something. I'm not sure what he does now. But he gave me this. And this was... Oh, I still have Kid Icarus in here. Okay. Well, we'll play that later. Um, here's the thing about the 3DS, right? The 3DS is such a capable device. It is amazing. It is great. Even though I don't have the gigantic one that everybody else has. I have the first gen. Excuse me for being a peasant. Because I don't need to update my fucking handhelds that I rarely play. Okay? Now, I understand that a lot of people don't really fuck with the Vita. A lot of people don't really fuck with it. A lot of people are just like, hey, the 3DS is dead. I assure you that just because you got a Switch does not mean that you're better than anybody else. 
just because you got a Switch and you can take your fucking games on the go, that's great. It's beautiful. But, I've said this, I'm gonna say it now, and I've said it a thousand fucking times. Competition breeds innovation. The reason why I fucking say this is because the more times you have somebody trying to one-up you, you try to one-up them. Okay, this is why console wars are important. This is why Xbox versus PlayStation for the last thousand years... Not actually a thousand years, I know some of you can't do math. But for the la for since the beginning of gaming time, there's always been competition. Because what that does is that makes people create bigger and better things. Well, they sold a million copies with this game, we need to sell two million copies of this game. So, that is really, really important. And I've gone back and forth about PlayStation All-Stars, uh, the PlayStation Vita, the Nintendo 3DS, the 3DS XL, all of this shit can exist in the same ecosystem. It's like being a YouTuber and seeing somebody come out with a similar video as you, or they're playing a similar game that you want to play, and then you tell yourself, I can't play that game because so many people have already uploaded it. Well, if that was the case, nobody would fucking upload anything because PewDiePie would just do everything. Like, what? I, I don't... I, there would only be one person making Fortnite at a time. This doesn't make any sense. So... The reason why I'm so upset about this is because, yes, I would love a Pokemon game to go for my 3DS because unlike other people, I'm an adult and I don't have the free money to just throw around and buy a new fucking console, a new fucking game with new fucking Joy-Cons and all this other bullshit, okay? I'm gonna stick to my 3DS. You know why? Because it has been faithful to me, it still works, it's still good. Okay, so this is why this is important, and I'm going to get to it right now. With being able to play on the go with your 3DS is great. Being able to play on the go with your Switch is also great. Now, if I wanted to play a Pokemon game on here, I want to be able to battle my friends with the newest version of Pokemon. It's been done before in the past with Pokemon Blue, Gold, Pokemon Silver, Red, Pokemon Yellow, even fucking... There was ways to play Diamond and Pearl and Emerald all together in the same, like, Ruby, Sapphire, everything. You could play all of these up until a certain cap when it reached and you couldn't go back any further. Now, I know a lot of people want to talk about, what about the Pokebank and all this other stuff? It's not the same, gentlemen. It is not the same. Because I want to be able to play this and I can battle my roommate on the other side of the house and he's playing the same game. Now, I don't have a Switch. I understand this. But crossplay is important. Crossplay is important because what that does is that now drives this fucking company to finally decide, you know what? Maybe we should pick the Vita back up. Maybe we should support the things that we actually put out, the things that we actually make, the things that we actually put market research into and actually make games for it. Now, if you guys can't tell, I'm very passionate about this. I'm very passionate about this because I'm tired of shitty games coming out. I'm tired of playing and buying $60 games that don't fucking work, that got a patch three fucking days later, fucking 50 gig gigabyte install at the beginning. I fucking hate this shit. It is the most annoying shit in the world. I'm tired of games coming out and they don't work better than the previous version of the game. And I'm looking at Final Fantasy Dissidia NT because I have the Vita versions. I'm sorry, the PSP versions loaded on my Vita. Okay? And I can play wirelessly with anybody else with a PSP or a Vita. That is how significant this device is. It can play Crossplay with PlayStation 4s, PlayStation 3s, and PlayStation Vitas, and PSPs in certain circumstances if you're playing PSP games. Do you know how magnificent that is to be able to play Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai with somebody who decided to not buy a Vita? This is why this shit is important, because what it does is it creates, you know what, my friend is now playing on his Vita, I want to buy a Vita. You just got a Vita purchase. My friend is playing the newest Pokemon, and if I even get a taste of it on here, Maybe I'll buy a Switch, okay? Because I think in this time of influencers, people have this idea that everything is guaranteed to them and it's really not. And it's really irritating because just because you get a few influencers to shell, shell out your product for you on their channel and stuff like that, there comes a crashing point. 
Every influencer will experience it. Every person, every company will, in, in, you will see it. It will happen. Everything crashes eventually. Depending on how it crashes is up to the market. So all I'm saying is that influencers will only take you so far. So it's time to innovate, boys. It's time to create a precedent where we are in competition with one another. It is time to no longer accept the bullshit that these companies pulled out. And I'm not saying Nintendo is bullshit for this. I'm just saying, don't come at me because I want more stuff, okay? Because I want more games to come out. I want more developers to have jobs. I want more publishers to be held accountable for the bullshit that they put out. Excuse me for wanting the new age and the new era of gaming to get better instead of just accepting the shit that comes out. Excuse me for not being complacent with the pieces of entertainment that come out. If you're if you're perfectly fine with that, I'm glad you are. But anyway, I am not going to accept this shit, neither am I going to participate in any of it, okay? We've seen what happened with Jump Force, we've seen what happened with Anthem, we've seen what happened with Destiny, we've seen all of these games come out, okay? Yet, for some reason, Anime niggas still support anime shit, even though it's broken, complain about it on Twitter, and then go buy the next game. Do you know how things get better? Don't buy them, you numbskulls. I'm not saying do that for Nintendo. I'm just saying I would like to see a little bit of innovation and anytime you're mad at something, do a little bit more than voice your opinion on Twitter and you have nine followers, okay? This is, this is, this is a new world that we live in, okay? And everybody's kind of just accepting the fact that Battle Royale is the new thing until it dies. And then something else comes out and it kills that. And then remember when Minecraft was a thing and now Fortnite is a thing and Five Nights at Freddy's was a thing. Like everything has its life cycle, boys. We want it to get better after something dies, not worse. Anyway, this has been your boy Jay Sama. That's all I wanted to just talk about. I didn't actually want to talk about the Pokemon stuff because to be honest, I don't care. I actually don't care. It's just Pokemon. But I wanted... To, I was just so mad at this. The fact that people were coming at me like... And I was even getting DMs like... Like, yo, Jay. Like, none of this makes any sense. The shit that you're talking about. Yet, I just sat here and I explained it to you. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section, okay? Am, am I crazy? Gentlemen, in the chat. Am I crazy for wanting better games to come out? I don't, I don't think so. I, I, I would like to think I'm not. So... But whatever. What do I know? Anyway, this has been your boy Jason. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon, gentlemen.